A very warm welcome and thank you for joining us for this informative edition of SSBC. My name is Mathian Joseph. President Kerr met with Governor Alena Yenya Leo before his departure to Arab State to assume his duty. The meeting discussed the general security situation in Arab State. Governor Aleo said he is going to address communal conflicts and restore peace and stability in Arab State. Governor Aleo ordered for removal of, of roadblocks in Arab State. He promised to start developmental projects as soon as possible. The Minister of Presidential Affairs, Nial Deng Nial, attended the meeting in Juba on Friday. Arab State, we are going to, to put down that insecurity. The first Vice President, Dr. Riek Machateng, and the Chairperson of the Reconstituted Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission, Charles D. Getwai discussed the implementation of the revitalized peace agreement in a statement to SSBC after the meeting. Getwai said they are assessing the agreement one year after the formation of the new government. He said positive steps have been made in for informing state governments, but called for more participation of women and youth. He called for quick reconstitution of the National Assembly as well as graduation of the unified forces to move the agreement forward. Our main objective of our meeting today was to discuss the issues uh, regarding the one year so far. Uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Beatrice Kamisa Wani, and her Sunni's counterpart, Mariam Sadiq al Madi, discussed the opening of corridors between the two countries and reactive reactivation rather of cooperation agreements briefing the media after the meeting minister Beatrice said the opening of the corridors would allow free trade and free movements of people the Sunni foreign ministers Mariam